This is Dr. Bev Knox and you are viewing my psychology tutorials, Learn Psychology While You Sleep. These series of video lectures are all about the psychology of human sexuality. The important new concepts of sexual health and sexual rights provoke yet another broad and thought-provoking perspective on sexuality. Sexual health is a social and political movement that is gaining momentum worldwide. Although many discussions of sexual health are actually about sexual disease such as HIV infection, sexual health is a much broader concept that involves a vision of positive sexual health. The World Health Organization's definition adopted in 2002 is as follows. Sexual health is a state of physical, emotional, mental, and social well-being in relation to sexuality. It is not merely the absence of disease, dysfunction, or infirmity. Sexual health requires a positive and respectful approach to sexuality and sexual relationships, as well as the possibility of having pleasurable and safe sexual experiences, free from coercion, discrimination, and violence. For sexual health to be attained and maintained, the sexual rights of all persons must be respected, protected, and fulfilled. Notice that this definition includes not only sexual physical health, but also sexual mental health and positive sexual relationships. Therefore, public health efforts to prevent HIV or chlamydia infection, programs to enhance romantic relationships, and activism to end discrimination and violence against gays and lesbians all fall under the umbrella of sexual health. Notice that the definition includes both negative and positive rights. Negative rights are freedoms from, for example, freedom from sexual violence. Positive rights are freedoms to, for example, freedom to experience sexual pleasure or to express one's sexuality with same gender partners. With the growth of the sexual health movement, the concept of sexual rights has also come to center stage. In fact, the term is used in the WHO definition, the World Health Organization. The idea here is that all human beings have certain basic rights regarding sexuality, just as in America's Declaration of Independence, the writers asserted that all people have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The question then is, what are humans' basic sexual rights? The principles are new and evolving, but they generally include elements such as a right to reproductive self-determination and freedom from sexual abuse and sexual violence, as well as the right to sexual self-expression. Provided, of course, that it doesn't interfere with someone else's sexual rights. 